we come not to incite fear, but to provoke a sense of responsibility, to engender greater awareness, and to encourage preparation for the life that you are entering into, a greater life, but a life with greater problems and challenges as well. We have been sent here through the spiritual power and presence of the Unseen Ones. Perhaps you will think of them in a friendly way as angels, but in the greater community their role is greater, and their involvement and their alliances are deep and penetrating. Their spiritual power is here to bless sentient beings in all worlds, and in all places, and to promote the development of the deeper knowledge and wisdom, that will make possible the peaceful emergence of relations, both between worlds and within worlds. We are here in their behalf. They have asked us to come. And they have given us much of the information that we have, information that we could not collect ourselves. From them we have learned a great deal about your nature. We have learned a great deal about your abilities, your strengths, your weaknesses and your great vulnerability. We can comprehend these things, because the worlds that we have come from have passed through this great threshold of emergence into the greater community. We have learned much and we have suffered much from our own mistakes, mistakes that we hope humanity will avoid. We come then, not only with our own experience, but with a deeper awareness and a deeper sense of purpose, that has been given to us by the Unseen Ones. We observe your world from a location nearby, and we monitor the communications of those who are visiting you. We know who they are. We know where they come from, and why they're here. We do not compete with them, for we are not here to exploit the world. We consider ourselves to be the allies of humanity, and we hope in time, that you will consider us to be such, for such we are. And though we cannot prove this, we hope to demonstrate this through our words, and through the wisdom of our counsel. We hope to prepare you for what lies ahead. We come in our mission with a sense of urgency, for humanity is way behind in its preparation for the greater community. Many earlier attempts decades ago to make contact with human beings, and to prepare human beings for their future proved to be unsuccessful. Only a few people could be reached, and as we have been told, many of these contacts were misconstrued and were used by others for different purposes. Therefore, we have been sent in the place of those who came before us to offer help to humanity. We work together in a united cause. We do not represent a great military power, but more a secret and holy alliance. We do not want to see the kind of affairs that exist in the greater community perpetrated here within your world. We do not want to see humanity lose its freedom and its self-determination. These are real risks. Because of this, we encourage you to consider our words deeply, without fear, if that is possible, and with the kind of conviction and determination that we know resides in all human hearts. Today and tomorrow and the day after, great activity is underway, and will be underway, to establish a network of influence over the human race by those who are visiting the world for their own purposes. They feel that they are coming here to save the world from humanity. Some even believe they are here to save humanity from itself. They feel that they are in the right, and do not consider that their actions are inappropriate or unethical. According to their ethics, they are doing what is considered to be reasonable and important. However, for all freedom-loving beings, such an approach cannot be justified. We observe the visitors' activities, which are growing. Every year, there are more of them here. They are coming from afar. They are bringing supplies. They are deepening their engagement and involvement. They are establishing stations of communication in many places in your solar system. They are observing all of your initial forays into space, and they will counter and destroy anything that they feel will interfere with their activities. They are seeking to establish control, not only of your world, but of the area around your world. This is because there are competing forces here. Each represents the alliance of several races. Now let us address the last of the four areas that we spoke of in our first discourse. This has to do with the visitors interbreeding with the human species. Let us give you a bit of history first. Many thousands of years ago, in your time, Several races came to interbreed with humanity, to give humanity a greater intelligence and adaptability. This led to the rather sudden emergence of what we understand, is called modern man. This has given you dominance and power in your world. This occurred long ago. However, the interbreeding program, that is occurring now is not the same at all. It is being undertaken by a different set of beings, and by different alliances. Through interbreeding, 
They are seeking to establish a human being who will be part of their association, yet who can survive within your world, and who can have a natural affinity with the world. Your visitors cannot live on the surface of your world. They must either seek shelter underground, which they are doing, or they must live aboard their own craft, which they often keep hidden in large bodies of water. They want to interbreed with humanity, to protect their interests here, which are primarily the resources of your world. They want to have human allegiance assured, and so for several generations they have been involved in an interbreeding program, which within the last 20 years has become quite extensive. Their purpose is twofold. First, as we have mentioned, the visitors want to create a human-like being who can live within your world, but who will be bonded to them, and who will have a greater set of sensitivities and abilities. The second purpose of this program is to influence all those that they encounter, and to encourage people to assist them in their undertaking. The visitors want and need human assistance. This furthers their program in all respects. They consider you valuable. However, they do not consider you to be their peers or their equals. Useful, that is how you are perceived. So, in all whom they will encounter, in all whom they will take, the visitors will seek to engender the sense of their superiority, their value and the worth and the significance of their endeavors in the world. The visitors will tell all whom they contact, that they are here for the good, and they will assure those, that they have captured, that they need not fear. And with those who seem particularly receptive, they will attempt to establish alliances of shared sense of purpose, even a shared sense of identity and family, of heritage and destiny. In their program, the visitors have studied human physiology and psychology very extensively, and they will take advantage of what people want, particularly those things that people want but have not been able to gain for themselves, such as peace and order, beauty and tranquility. These will be offered, and some people will believe. Others will simply be used as is needed. Here it is necessary to understand that the visitors believe that this is entirely appropriate in order to preserve the world. They feel that they are doing humanity a great service, and so they are wholehearted in their persuasions. Unfortunately, this demonstrates a great truth about the greater community, that true wisdom and true knowledge are as rare in the universe as they must seem within your world. It is natural for you to hope, and to expect that other races have outgrown deviousness, selfish pursuits, competition and conflict. But, alas, this is not the case. Greater technology does not raise the mental and spiritual strength of individuals. Today there are many people who are being taken against their will repeatedly. Because humanity is very superstitious, and seeks to deny things that it cannot understand, this unfortunate activity is being carried on with considerable success. Even now, there are hybrid individuals, part human, part alien, walking in your world. There are not many of them, but their numbers will grow in the future. Perhaps you will meet one someday. They will look the same as you but be different. You will think they are human beings, but something essential will seem to be missing in them something that is valued within your world. It is possible to be able to discern and to identify these individuals, but in order to do so, you would have to become skilled in the mental environment and learn what knowledge and wisdom mean in the greater community. We feel that learning this is of the utmost importance, for we see all that is happening in your world from our vantage point, and the unseen ones counsel us regarding things we cannot see or have access to. We understand these events for they have happened countless times in the greater community, as influence and persuasion are cast upon races that are either too weak or too vulnerable to respond effectively 